Okay, Sami. Main hint tu, main hint. It's not provoke things no evil, does not rejoice in many people, but rejoice in truth. Bears all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will they will fail whether they I thought as a child, but when I become a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I know just as I am, I'm known. And now I abide in faith, hope, love, this tree, but the greatest of this is love. That's the main reason for this occasion today. Well, now for our head pastor to have our opening prayer, please. Amen. 
Uh, una, palakpakan po natin yung Panginoon. Sa katagalakan na mayroon ang puso ng bawat isa, dalangin namin Ama na patuloy yung gabayan ang celebration nito, Lord God, na maging pagpapala o Diyos. Una, sa pinagtatda mo, Panginoon, ng kagalak ito, Diyos, ay patuloy na manahan sa puso ng bawat isa na nandito, Panginoon. And acknowledge namin, Panginoon, na patuloy niyong ingatan ang lahat ng mga gawain at dalangin namin, Ama, na ang pagpapalang ito sa mag-asawa, Diyos, maging daan. Ang kagalakang ito ay sa iyo lamang po magbigay ang kapurihan, Panginoon. Dinadakila ka namin, pinasalamatan ka namin, Ama, sa patuloy na pagbibigay mo ng pagpapala sa lahat ng mga nandito, Diyos. At ang pagpapalang ito ay magbigyan ng kapurihan ng ilakilang pangalan, Ama. Salamat sa lahat na nagbigay ng oras na nandito, Diyos. Higit sa lahat sa mag-asawang ito, dalangin ko ng mag-asawang ito ay patuloy niyong ingatan, pagpapalain sa lahat ng oras, Panginoon, sa kanilang buhay. At dalangin namin, Ama, na ang pagpapalang ito ay manatili bilang mag-asawa, Panginoon. Salamat sa lahat ng ito at dalangin namin ng lugar na ito ay puspusin niyo ng pagpapala, kagalakan sa puso ng bawat isang Panginoon. At ibinabalik namin ito, Diyos, ang kapurihan, kapasalamatan, katakilahan sa tanging pangalan ng iyong anak na si Jesus na aming Panginoon. Amen. Salamat sa lahat. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Let's give a big, big hand of applause to our God. Almighty. Okay, you can now be seated. So let us witness the two lovers. To yes. For those who were not able to witness the actual wedding a while ago in our embassy well i hope that you can witness it one time all right okay so i will not take much of your time just give me about an hour probably is it okay 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 bye. all right just a short message i will read it from matthew chapter 19 verse 5 and 6 this is the word of the Lord Jesus Christ when he said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then, they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. That was also mentioned by our vice consul a while ago. So he quoted that verse in the last one. Now there's just two things I would like you to listen carefully. The word live, when the man will leave his father and mother, it doesn't mean that you will forget your parents and totally turn your back from them. It means leaving your comfort zone, especially the man, Leaving your comfort zone, or maybe leaving that what we call mama's boy or papa's boy. Okay? Because you no longer belong to yourself only, but you are cleaving to your wife. There are two words I would like you to understand. Leave and cleave. Okay? The word leaving, you are actually not turning back from your parents, but actually cleaving to your wife. Cleaving means to be one, to be joined together, to be united together as one. Okay? So now, Adriel, not just Adriel, even Jen. You have to leave your father, your mother, and cleave to your husband. Likewise, both, vice versa. Okay? You have to start your own family. So likewise, the, the woman, she is no longer called Papa's girl or mama's girl who is always there beside their papa and their mama whenever she needs something or even the man but rather she has to be independent from the parents and cleave let me read to you again in verse 6 so they no longer two but one flesh one here it means not one in number but one in unity Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. When the word let not man separate, we hear that. Sometimes 
it comes to our mind that it is the parents, the brothers, or friends, or the neighborhood is the one that makes separation between them. Or probably your past, your human beings. Let not man put asunder, meaning let not man put a division between your marriage. Meaning that not either you, not you, will be the one that will cause separation. Okay? Sometimes couples, after marriage, the first year is just bed of roses. Two years, medyo dumadami yung tinik na yung roses. After five years, marami nang tinik yung roses. Wala na yung rose, tinik na lang. I hope, okay, that you as a couple will maintain that sweetness always. I hope that not any of you will put asunder into your marriage. Okay? So let me charge this to you, both you, Adriel and Jen. I charge you both, as you stand in God's presence, to remember that love and loyalty alone will serve as the foundation of a happy and enduring home. I want you to remember that. If this solemn vow that we are having right now, which are about to make or kept permanently, and if you steadfastly seek to do the will of our Heavenly Father, your life will be full of peace and joy. And the home which you are about to establish will abide through every change that will take place. That is my charge for you. And to you, sponsors. Who are the sponsors here? Please raise your hands. Primary sponsors. Okay. I would like you to stand up and show to the congregation right now. These are the primary sponsors here. We have four couples. Okay. Look at them. So that they will see you also. Alright? Okay. So these are not just so-called sponsors. You may sit down, please. These are not just so-called primary sponsors. Or what we call in our colloquial term, Ninong or Nina. They are not just here for decoration or they are not just here to be called a sponsor. But for a particular reason. Do you know that as the sponsor, you become the second father or mother of this couple? Do you know that? Pwede pa kayo matras. Pwede pa nating tanggalin yung pirma doon sa kontrata. No, no. Cancellation. Okay, there's no more cancellation. Thank you. Now, as the sponsors, this is my charge for you. As you become in need, they, are some, they, they need something. Help. Uh, it could be in the form of uh, uh, money, finances. If, if they need some, some money to borrow, you don't need to borrow. You just ask from them, okay? Pahingi po ng pera ni. Don't hide. You, are, you should be there as a sponsor, as the second mother and father to this couple. To Jen. I charge you to respect your sponsors as your second father or mother. Home away from home, away from Philippines, they are here to support you. Okay? Don't just pass by them. Magmano naman kayo. Mano po ni nung, mano po ni nang. Okay? Okay? So don't forget that. That's my charge for you. Now let's go to the uh, ceremonial vows. Actually, they have done the exchange of ring a while ago in the Philippine Embassy. Now, I would like also that here are the congregation witnessing right now. I would like them to witness the same. Alright? So, I would like you to both face here. Face your, your chair here in front. And may I have the ring, please? Mm. Well, you can see that this ring, okay, it is circular. The exchanging of ring, it expresses the couple's promise of faithfulness to each other. 
the unending circle, you can say, of this ring is a symbol of eternity. And the inward bond as two hearts unite as one. Okay? So wearing the wedding bands throughout the couple's lifetime will tell to all people, to other people, that you are committed to be faithful to one another. If you're wearing this, you're showing to somebody that you're faithful to Jen. Likewise, Jen, if you're wearing this, you're showing to everyone that you're faithful to Israel. Whether in his presence or in his absence. There will come a time that you might forget that excuse you have forgotten. But if you intentionally, intentionally remove this from your finger for some reasons, I don't know. Okay? Then you are showing your unfaithfulness. Maybe you would like to hide something. Okay? So, don't ever remove this from your finger. Okay? Now, uh, this ring, it symbolizes God's unending love, just as the shape of the ring has no beginning and no end. These symbols stand as a model of love for the husband and the wife, who have both pledged their commitment to each other. And as they wear the rings, they are reminded of each other's love. I would like you to pray with me for this ring. Father, bless these rings which Adriel and Jen have set apart to be visible signs of the inward and the spiritual bond which unites their hearts. As they give and receive this way, your vow to Jen. And here. Jen, this day, you may be seated. <laughs> I'm touched with that message. That was never copied, huh? That was from their heart. Okay? Before we will start the lighting of the candle. Adriel and Jen, I would like to tell you this. These two candles that you see outside, okay, it has been lighted to represent both your lives. Okay, it's just a representation. The life of the, well, the lady and the life of the, the man. They are two distinct lights. Each are capable of going their separate ways. And as you join now in marriage, there is merging of these two lights. So we will be lighting one candle. And as you do that, this is what the Lord meant when He said, On this account, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. So from now on, your thoughts shall be for each other rather than your individual selves. Your plan shall be mutual, your joys and sorrows shall be shared alike. As you each take a candle, one from there, one from the other side, and together you light the center one, you will extinguish your own candles. Okay? So, papatayin po yung light. Alright? Thus, you let the center candle represent the union of your lives into one flesh. And as this one light cannot be divided, there's only one light. Neither shall your lives be divided, but a united testimony in a Christian home. May the radiance of this one light be a testimony of your unity in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? I think they would like to render a song while we are doing this. Sa aking dasal 